This week, we dust off the earth bags and start on the walls for our outdoor tub. Garen and Nellie continue on their van conversion and we catch up with Uncle Perry and Bailey. We are getting ready to knit the walls down for our little outdoor tub area. Uh, okay, we're good now. Is it okay that I'm wrecking this? Hola! Someone order a pizza? <laughs> the gated community is coming down. But this whole wall needs to come back to here. We're gonna take the bamboo off. The bamboo, screws, the other various things. The corrugated shower was one of the first things that we built after we moved over into the little guest house. I got a line, I learned about that conical shape. It didn't need a door. I loved the organic shape of it. It was quick and easy to build. Mm -hmm. It was the best that we could do at the time because we were all really little and I think we were pretty proud of it when it went up. We decided we want to still be able to use our shower. So we're going to make it like a little makeshift door. So we still use a shower. wall already to put the pallet slats on. We gotta go over and start cutting up more pallets and sanding them down and get going with the slats. Where would you like to stack these at? I like the good ones. You can just stack up here if you want. Thank you. And the bad ones over here? When Azalea's out here working with us, we don't really get anything done. <laughs> we have fun with her though, which, yeah. is, which is good too. Well, we've been kind of figuring out that best times to go out is when she's sleeping. So we get a few times throughout the day and then a good chunk at night. It's fun too. Now we can go inside and play with her and have fun and not miss those moments too. <laughs> yeah. We loved the corrugated walls that they were within our grasp of doing and we were pretty excited to have this area kind of closed in so that we had privacy. So we ended up taking that corrugated metal and carrying it all the way around our courtyard, or at least that side. Mm -hmm. And then we tried to doll it up with different artwork mm -hmm. and different things like that. It's worked really good oh, all yeah. of these years for a privacy fence. Mm -hmm. That's it. Perfect. Job done. <laughs> I need a really heavy brick. That's awesome. We just finished getting off the metal panels that we had up here because we're going to be bagging all of this. We have put in just some very, very temporary hog fencing for cattle fencing, and uh, that's just to keep the dogs and the pig in the courtyard. Uh oh. Did you get out, Eugene? I've got a little more to do over there, uh, and then we'll call it a day and get back at it again tomorrow. Just saunter by you, and you're like, "Bye." I was trying to film him. I was like, "Where did he go?" Hey, and hey, where are you going? You going somewhere? He's like, "My Roman area just expanded." I think it's time to get him some food. Hey, you, you want to eat? Oh, I better have something to fill back that up. Hang on. I'm gonna vacuum it out a little bit. Get a little cleaner in here for us to work. We haven't cleaned it out since we pulled the insulation out. So there's kind of a mess in the bottom here. That's gonna be more fun to work in, huh? Yeah, so that's kind of what I was thinking. I think I plugged it though. Oh dear. That's pretty good. Oh yeah. Sure enough. Fix it. Wow. What happened here? Well, it started making a funny noise, so I pulled it apart. I think I found it though. Hopefully I made it last a little longer. My filter back on it. It's so it's high tech. Very high tech. Oh yeah. Not cheap. <laughs> Sounds way better. 
If you remember the rescue dog, Bailey, that Perry adopted, we had an opportunity to check in on her, see how she's doing. It was always fun to meet up with Bailey again, of course, Uncle Perry as well. And we got to see the new tricks that Uncle Perry has been teaching Bailey. She's trained to go only on command. I'm only kidding. <laughs> okay, the progress from when Bryson first rescued the dog and now that Bailey's been with Perry for so long to see her really coming into herself her confidence is just soaring she's at the peak happiness it's just so cool to see uh, that transition for her <laughs> Where'd I put my tool? Here it is. Let's see here. Break off some of this excess foam that oozed out. Whoa. <laughs> Get a knife for some of this. Zoe wants to help so bad. Soon and very soon, kiddo. Look at, she's like so ready. <laughs> yeah, <she's> ready. <laughs> Okay. Is that our film crew? Yeah. Good job, Azealia. Doing good. She's like, quick, Dad, do something funny. <laughs> oh, oh, we can't chew oh, on that. The film crew's oh. falling apart. Uh -oh. She's been out of best part. <laughs> Getting serious now. Uh oh. Mmm. Does that work? Yeah, I think that'll be fine. Now, if you want to shower, you have to come in here like this. Sneak in. True. So that's our new shower. What do you think about it? <laughs> I really like it, it's nice. A lot better than the other one, it's more open. We've done a lot of upgrades in the shower area, but you know, it just has never really had that wow factor. No matter what we do to it, it feels like we're walking into a tin can. Yeah, to describe it a little bit, when the wind blows in there, it goes, the pig comes over and can move the wall, you know what I mean? Because it's corrugated metal. And it's held up well oh, through the wind. It really has. It, it so has that's done a great been, job. It's been good that mm -hmm. way. It's just that I think we're ready to do something different. All right, Dad, what's up? I'm working. Building a post here. Maybe we can attach the door on for the inside of the shower area. Right? We got the hole dug. And now we're just gonna need to get this done. We recycled some pressure treated wood here that we we're using for the foundation, so that'll be good. And that's gonna be our center post that's gonna go in that hole to support the door that's going right here between here and, and there. Now with both the bath and the tub, this is an opportunity to redo those walls. Mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that mm -hmm. we'll be able to build something that's gonna look pretty nice and we've got some bottle ideas that we're gonna be putting in mm -hmm. those walls. Can't wait. So we've gotta bust a lot of this stuff up here. We're just gonna take that and we're gonna use that for part of the hole. Oh no! Ah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bliss laid plans of mice and men, right? <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, that baby's not moving. If I understand this right, walls are going to start here. It's going to come in and it's going to come in like here and like stop. And then we're going to have another one which is going to tee into it, which will come out here. Which will come around this lovely hot tub. Hot tub. <laughs> Bathtub. And it'll come around this way. And I think just to have that more solid feel when you will really help make it feel a little more permanent. The shower did give us an opportunity to really find out that that's something that we love and we just can't live without at this point. What know? do you think, like six months out of the year, we all- Shower outside. Yeah, we all shower out there. Mm -hmm. it's big, it's roomy, you look up into the sky. And now yeah. we have that bathtub too. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, I think. I'm pretty so excited. Too. I think we're gonna really enjoy it. We're gonna dig up here. We know that the outlet to the gray water is here that comes from the sink in the bathroom. That we wanna connect the tub to as well. Did you find it? Mom found it. Actually, Chip found it. Oh, Chip he was digging right here. Oh good, you're here. Yeah. This is the gray water now that okay. we tap into. So where's your drain gonna be? Right here. 
Just dig a trench for that. Don't need to look pretty, it's gonna be buried. We found an old cupboard. And it's gonna be the entrance point for our door here to access. Okay. Probably where the loan is gonna be not strong enough. So we're gonna plan to put this guy here and then take the old drawer that they came off of the fronts and nail them to the sides. To reinforce it. Does it need to be lowered too? Or do we need to bury it a little bit? Yeah. Sorry, bud. I'll get the heavy big ones. <laughs> These big wide ones turn out so cool. Alright. Might be able to move I was thinking here, yeah, we can go wide, because that'll bring us up. Kind of over that hump. Is that right, sir? That's right. Probably a shorter one now, huh? Can you see it's right there. This bit. I don't think I need to on this. We got one of the harder chunks on the driver's side wall finished, which is the back part where we have to kind of curve the whole back portion up. Hopefully now we will be able to streamline work a little bit better and kind of get that a second side done in a reasonable amount of time. It's coming along really good and a lot smoother than I thought it was going to, which is seems like what I always say. So I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> She's looking good. Yeah. Get some of my first pieces of conduit in here for the electrical. Bending it around the building since it's round, we're gonna have to kind of roundify it a little bit. So it's plastic and it will form a little bit, so that's perfect. All right, so it's gonna go in through there and out to the tub that's over there. Yep. Right in there. We're gonna start laying out where the holes are gonna go, preferably pretty much where we're standing. I'm mostly just going to dig the foundation and lay hopefully a bag or two. Through. That was a lot of work, but we got it. We finished the run from the around the corner of the house underneath the window. We're gonna run from there, run power all the way into this box. This is where the plug-in will be for the jacuzzi plug-in. Then we're gonna keep running it around and over to the aquaponics. That's the next section. And that's it. This week, the t-shirt design of the week is Hammer Time. Only front and back design that we have, so it says Hammer Time on the front, and then it says... Wait, 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 ready? Hammer Time on the back. To get this on a t-shirt, sweatshirt, and any front and back designs that we have, I think we do have a couple, I forget what I have it all on, but it's all over there. <laughs> but it's over there if you'd like to check it out. Link will be down in the description. We do have a sale going on today through tomorrow, 15% off uh, now through tomorrow, today through tomorrow, on everything on our shop, 15% off. If you'd like to take advantage of a deal if you're a deal finder like we are. We're deal finders. Some deals going on over there on our website oh, yeah. as well. So if you'd like to check that out, the link will be down in the description. We have been getting a lot of requests to get the full version of Bryson's Aquaponics 
this build from start to finish out. We got that out on Wednesday is what we've been calling it now, the midweek peak. If you miss that full version of aquaponics and that interests you to see, that also will be down in the description for you to check out. And then of course, every Monday we get an opportunity on our podcast to answer or bring up comments that you do here on the weekly peak. So if you've got some questions or comments or funny little stuff, we, we do uh, answer we as do many as we can. We do funny little things. Yeah, oh, we had some great ones last week. Thank you so much for being a part of our family and we look forward to hanging out with you on Monday for another podcast. Bye! Bye! Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. That's impressive. It's a powerful sander. Now, the midweek peak. Yeah, midweek. So, if you miss... Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description.